now this is a uh, question number 18th of subject is for example now there are two functions given one is two two relationships given one is mod of y equals to sin x and other is y equal to cos inverse cos x and we have to find number of solutions of the two means number of points of intersection of the two so we'll draw graph of this we'll draw graph of this and we see points of intersection between the two now graph of mod y equal to sin x can be drawn from the graph of y equal to sin x by replacing y by mod y and you know when we replace y by mod y we reject the lower half whatever graph we have in lower half we reject that we, we reject lower half and take image of upper half into lower half right when we replace i repeat when we replace y by mod y whatever we have below x axis we reject that we remove that and we take reflection of upper half into lower half right so something similar we'll do here we we'll draw graph of sin x So this is pi by two pi two pi on this side also this is pi and this is two pi. So graph of sine this is graph of sine, right? And then we take mod of the uh, we replace y by mod y we reject lower half whatever we have in lower half we reject that right and take reflection of upper half into lower half like this right like this 3 pi on this side also right now graph of cos inverse cos x y equal to cos inverse cos x see it's very difficult to explain you the graph of this or, or even the function this function because you have not done inverse trigonometric function so i'll suggest the way you remember the graph of log or exponential function or, or other 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 functions other basic functions Similarly, you can just remember the graph of cos inverse cos x as it's a basic function. Don't worry how you got this graph. This graph of cos inverse cos x. 0 to 2 pi. And this is uh, 2 pi. And it's a periodic function with period 2 pi. It'll keep on repeating like this. Like cos, it's a periodic function with period 2 pi. Same we draw on left of this. So now we'll draw on the same scale. This is 1 and pi is somewhere here so it is like this right so and same on this side right so we can see points of intersection between the two graphs. So one important thing is what is happening around this. See, the graph of sine it goes like this. This is y equal to x line. So this angle is 45 degree. But what about the sine? How the sine starts? How the sine starts like this? This is how sine goes and this is how y equal to x goes so they are just intersecting at this point it's not touching it's intersecting and you can check you have not done derivative otherwise you would it would have been very easy derivative means slope of tangent so if you take derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x at x equal to derivative of sin x is cos x and at x equal to 0 cos 0 is 1 so both of them are touching each other at zero that is the tangent at zero only fine so y equal to x line is tangent to y equal to sin x at x equal to zero so after that it means like they are touching at origin this is this is y equal to x 
touching it this is sign it will go like this sign graph will go like this right so one point of intersection is here one point of intersection is here two points of intersection and third point of intersection is here right so overall we have three points of intersection between the two between minus two pi and two pi three points of intersection